Morning everyone. I skipped a video yesterday, I apologize. But I was too busy. I was doing stuff. Running around, running errands. I did one job which was a golf uh, for a hedge unit. An R32. Um, and then I was out and about getting stuff sorted. It wouldn't have made a great video, you didn't need to see it, so I just and not the video on the head. Um, today we've got a Ford Ranger coming in. Uh, I've got to change the stereo on it, we've got to do a reverse camera interface, uh, we've got to do a fascia kit, we've got to do a Pioneer, um, steering controls, all the, all the integration of the Ford stuff. Um, so that's going to be a different one. Never done one of these before um, because it's a uh, Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I swear to God, these fucking GoPros. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm back. Um, yesterday, Mr. Video, we did a thing. Um, I managed to get the extra covers on the skylights and it's taken the temperature down in here. Lovely, so we've got a big blackout one there. Uh, I was hanging off a forklift yesterday, getting these up, but it, look at this, 22 degrees. The temperature has dropped in here significantly. So we've blocked the sun coming up in the morning. Obviously up here helps. And now we've got that middle shaded out and it just makes the place, yes, a little bit darker, but I can deal with that because I'd rather be dark than hot. But also, we may have done a thing yesterday. <laughs> Let's go see. So obviously I work alongside a company, Kicker, and they're one of their uh, importers, shall we say, one of the companies that deals with the influx of stock also deals with a company called Sea Sucker and Sea Sucker make the best mounts for cars that you cannot have roof rails attached to so basically I, I hit up the guys at Celsius and was like hey I want something for my car what do you have now funnily enough this is the only set that they had um, but the guy shipped it out to me straight away because I wanted to do a thing with a thing um, <laughs> so how these work it's a sticky pad or a suction cup with a with a pump on it and then basically as you pump these up if you pump 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 you can feel the pad depressing sucking onto the car and then the clever thing about this is when you can't suck no more, the pusher stays in. So if it looks like this, you know it's lost air and you've got to pump it up. But when it's like this, it's sucked down. So you know it's safe. Now these things are tested to silly horsepower on a vehicle. Just pump this one up. They are tested to silly horsepower on a vehicle, silly speed, and they hold on quite tight. There we go. to flirt with him. I'm not going to... F How cool is that? 
So you can have a roof rack on a vehicle that's not meant to have a roof rack. What a great idea. <laughs> not everyone's taste. But I think it looks cool as, it's great. And the best bit is it has cutouts in the middle so my little aerial sticks in a little void just up there. <laughs> what a result, eh? Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a coffee, get ready for the day. Um, we've got a Ford Ranger coming in today. It's having a full fascia kit and camera retention, which is around here somewhere. I'll look at that in a minute. But until then, we're gonna have a video today. I missed out yesterday because I was just, I was busy doing stuff. But it worked, see you in a bit. Morning, everyone. Oh, the range just started. We've got our Ford in, little Ford truck. Put some lights on. So, we've got this Ford Ranger. We've got to do a full fascia kit on it. Um, the radio technically is here and this is the screen, but what we're going to do is remove this piece here. The double din is going to go at the top and then we'll still retain some of the aircon and things like that. We've got a factory camera we've got to retain. Which is up there in the badge. Um, it's got some cool little tires on it, like little skull and crossbones. <laughs> but they're pistons. Oh. Come on. So we've got to get this thing taken apart first off, figure out where we're doing with all our cabling. I'm hoping it's not like the normal Ford Transit kind of style that these are a pain in the ass to get apart and hide cables and units, but we'll get this one sorted. A nice interior on it. Um, he's had it just back from the body shop because they messed up this, but it's actually lifting his wrap and everything else. This fell off and smashed into a million pieces. So they've put a new one on, but they've sealed it in really badly. And obviously this is not fitted right. So I'm thinking this is double sided again, and that's why it came off last time. But they've put some kind of crappy sealant on it, which, oh God, look, the whole thing's moving this side. And it's kind of lifted here. There's like a bit of a bubble here. So he's asked me to have a look at that and see if I can rectify it. Now, rather than silicon, obviously we have got spoiler glue which is a lot stronger, a lot more powerful. And I can probably hold that on at a, a better, you know, a better fix. But that area is kind of kinked out that way. It doesn't even look straight. So we might need to have a look at this thing, try and sort it out for the guy, get it, get it properly right. Because at the minute it just, it, it's kind of there, but it looks like dog shit. All the little touches are, you know, look at the ceiling in here. That doesn't look good need some help so we're going to get cracking on with this one i'll come back to you in a bit when we've kind of taken it all apart and figured out what's what in a bit right then everyone so we've hit our first hurdle so i've stripped out the dash we've got all our pieces apart uh mechanism for the stereo sits here obviously screen sits at the top there excuse the blood i cut my hand um now i've got the two pieces here and what we've got to do is take out the forward bit which is that one. Replace it with the aftermarket bit, which is this one. I'm supposed to take the bottom off this, which is the Ford one, and replace it with this one, which is the aftermarket one. Now, it doesn't take a genius to see that the difference between that and that is like a under my finger, and that and that is that much of my finger. So the fascia that they've made is shit. It doesn't fucking fit the toffee. Um, so I'm probably going to have to modify the OE fascia to be able to get the cables back into it, which is not brilliant, which is really not good, but the pièce de résistance, as they say. So obviously that's our replacement fascia. This is our current module and we have a hazard button here. If you ever do one of these, be careful how you undo the screws on the back and then flip the unit because all the little plastic buttons and everything falls out the back and it's really annoying and they don't tell you to watch out for that when they've told you to undo everything in the instructions. They tell you then flip it over and it all comes to shit. But look at this fitment, right? I've already trimmed out that bit of plastic there because nothing would fit. 
but if I put the fascia in, well, it's, let's, let's hope that he doesn't want to use his hazard button either because the fitment on that is <laughs> shit. So not only can we see the two little holes at the bottom down in here under the hazard button, I can't use the hazard button because it's pinned by the fascia, but it doesn't line up. <sighs> and this is part of the fun of being a car audio engineer, is trying to figure out how much of the OE system you've got to remove and that lines up to get that to work. How the fuck am I supposed to do that, you bastards? Look at it. I can't give that to the customer, can I? Fuck's sakes. Seriously. Is this a Friday afternoon job? Arseholes. Hey everybody, how are we? God, I am stressing, but we're getting somewhere. So, we have our reverse camera on our screen. This is the Ford OE stuff I've had to put back in because I've got to do some testing and some kind of uh, figuring out of some cabling. Ford have given me uh, this harness, the Cam FD1RT. It's the only one they make for this vehicle. They've only seen this vehicle with an independent plug. Now I don't have an independent plug. Mine is all in, in with the, the same loom, which is this one at the back here. So I've been doing some kind of jiggery pokery. It's taken me about an hour to get to this stage of finding where everything is. But you see the green and the black there. And on this side, you can actually make out that the, turn my light off, the screen is actually on. That's showing the reverse camera behind the car. So now, result, I've run out a lead all the way down here into a modified screen. Hello, Ford camera. So I've now found my signal cable, which is a bit of a result. Happy days. So that's where my picture is gonna come from. Now I just have to figure out a way, because when I disconnect this unit, it stops the power going back out to the camera. Now we know the camera's probably around about six or seven volts, but I now need to replicate the camera still working through what they call a LIN line. Um, so I've got part of it. I've got the picture. We just now need to get the rest of it working. Um, <laughs> Wish me luck. Wish me luck. That's all I'm going to say. Right then, everyone. I oh, shit you not. Seven hours later. This crap doesn't fit. I've gone out the fascia kit with a table saw to make it fit. This is what we've ended up with. I've had to cut down a lot of the factory equipment. I've had to file out the hazard button to get it to fit. But everything now works and we've got CarPlay and Android Auto working. Steering controls work. So does the backup camera. Oh, USB's in the glove box. But I've been on the phone with Technical all day trying to figure stuff out because I've got the wrong wiring loom and the fascia kit that they've sent me doesn't fit. So there's our reverse camera. But my God, what a palaver. I'm really annoyed because this is not this is not rocket science, there's no hocus pocus, we're just doing a job and it shouldn't be this hard and difficult to make everything fit. But we're there eventually, seven hours later, starting at nine o'clock, what time is it now? 4.32, what a joke. So CarPlay and Android Auto in this one. Let's just get this set up properly because that's not where we want it to be. Settings. Hope you're having a good day. Hope, hope it's been better than mine. What's the colour on this thing? Blue and yeah, that's kind of cool. Right, this one's done. Let's go and give it back to the customer. What a nightmare, huh? In a bit. Oh, evening, everyone. We are done for Thursday today. Yeah, I think it's Thursday today. Or is it Friday today? Maybe Friday? I do you know what? I have no idea. Thursday today. It is Thursday today. Um, Ford range has been picked up. Darren's taken it away. Uh, we filed out, obviously, the hazard button, cut the fascia up on the table saw. Seven hours of BS trying to get that thing to fit. It's not 
what you should be doing with a fascia kit. Um, so the makers of that one need to go back to the drawing board because that's just awful, absolutely shocking. <coughs> so if you've got a Ford Ranger, be careful if you buy the CT23 FD66 fascia. Because it's about as useful as a tofu fire guard. Very, very bad quality. Uh, tomorrow, what we got in? S SLK. Uh, from next week. Yes. SLK tomorrow, Mercedes. Lady came in the other day. We pulled the hedge unit out because Halfords were unsure of what, what the stereo was, what kind of fibrous lead she needed, and it is a fiber system. Um, but yeah, quickly, quickly took the stereo out, had a little peek. <coughs> Let me put them down so you're not getting background noise when I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, we had a little nose at the stereo just to confirm what it was. Uh, order the right kit in, which is up on the, up on the table somewhere, up there. So that'll get fitted up tomorrow. Nice, easy day, hopefully. Um, Got a lot of, lot of work booked in at the minute, um, which is nice. Very good, very good. Keeps the bills being paid, as they say. Um, no subscriber change. We'd had a bit of a lull this week. Obviously, Snap on Tuesday didn't happen. So that was a bit of a pisser. But other than that, we're managing the shit GoPros, we're managing the bad head unit, face your kits, head units are good, face your kits not so. Um, we'll try and get out of the cars this weekend and do something, go on, let up a bit of steam, go for a rant somewhere. Gonna take the Lexus home today. Dan wants to buy it. For a little drifter practice car. Down with the piss wrap that is. He just needs to get his finger in it, his ass, and get some money in my pocket. Um, but Friday tomorrow, we will reconvene in the morning when we've got breakfast going. I uh, will see you then, peeps. Thanks for watching. See you soon. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio, and now you've missed an episode. No!